What's going on guys, Charles Morab, AKA The Handsome Home, and on today's vlog, we're gonna talk about the top three worst and best building departments on Long Island. All right, as everybody knows, it has been an absolute nightmare to get permits on Long Island. With that said, there's also some really, really great building departments. I think the people need to know, especially investors out there, when you're looking to purchase properties, know what you're in for ahead of time, who's gonna get your stuff done the quickest and with the least amount of aggravation and who's friendly and who is going to basically torture your life. So with that, we're gonna talk about the top three worst building departments from three, from bronze, all the way up to gold. Coming in number three, the bronze medal, we have the town of Hempstead. Now the town of Hempstead, not to be confused with North Hempstead or the village of Hempstead, the town of Hempstead is the largest township in the country, yes, I will give them that. They are, however, extremely slow, extremely disorganized. Their new web portal system, while working, eh, okay, you can't get people on the phone, you can't get any answers, it takes months to get permits and it's getting worse by the day. It's just absolutely horrible to work there. And on top of that, they have guys out there running around in the field, giving people stop work orders, so it's just, it is extremely frustrating. You can't work. If you start to do anything with a, without a permit, you're gonna get nailed, you're gonna get fines. It's just very, very, very difficult and painful for both investors who are burning money every day and homeowners who are trying to legalize their house just so they can sell it if they have an open permit on a deck or a basement or anything that they were unaware of. Coming in at number two, getting a silver medal, Town of Brookhaven. Town of Brookhaven? used to be a pretty decent place to work. Yes, it's far and you have to run things out there. They didn't have a great web portal system, but during this whole COVID process and beyond, especially with this new rezoning of certain areas that they're doing, which in my opinion they did at not exactly the most optimal time, they are an absolute nightmare mess. You call, you can't get people on the phone. They constantly lose files. The right hand doesn't talk to the left hand. And the, the town employees laugh about it when you have conversations with them because they know it's an absolute disorganized mess. Very, very difficult place to work. The only good part about the town of Brookhaven is, unlike the town of Hempstead, they don't have guys driving around all over trying to give you tickets, stop work orders. So they're pretty like hands off out there in that regard. They're not really busting chops. But if you need to get a permit, very, very, very difficult process right now. And number one, the gold medal, the, the worst of the worst of the worst, without question, hands down, eight days a week, the town of North Hempstead. The town of North Hempstead is the most insanely awful building department ever on the planet Earth. If you need to get a permit in the town of North Hempstead, without question, and this is pre-COVID, forget about what's going on in COVID, you're looking at a minimum, minimum, minimum of four to six months, probably more. They send you back an objection. When you send in plans, you get a list of objections. Every town does it, every file gets it for the most part. No big deal. I have never seen anything like this. It is 17 objections with a, B, C, D, and D underneath each of them. It is the most insane thing ever. I got a stop work order once in the town of North Hempstead in Newcastle, Westbury. I got a fine, they sent me to court. Every single month I had to pay my attorney to go. It took over nine months to get the permit. Every time my attorney went, he charged me, naturally, and he got yelled at for not resolving it and not having a permit. Meanwhile, the building department is the slowest moving building department on planet Earth. It is absolutely terrible. It is so terrible, I will never, ever buy a house in the township of North Hempstead because I don't want to deal with the permit process. Unless I am getting this thing for almost free and I can afford to sit there and burn money waiting for a permit for a year, I will not buy a house in North Hempstead. Now, the best three building departments, in no particular order, they are all equally, absolutely, Amazing, and we're gonna give an honorable mention as well. Number one, the village of Ilandia. The village of Ilandia is an absolute dream. 
The head of the building department is a gentleman. Everything goes quickly, smooth. If there's objections or questions, he reaches out directly. He's a gem of a man. The mayor is amazing. And they really, really, really run a, a tight ship. And it's an absolute pleasure to do business there. Number two, and again, all equal, the village of Farmingdale. The village of Farmingdale, absolute pleasure to work there. The head of the building department, Mr. Fellman, is a gentleman. You can call him directly. He calls you back. If he has questions on your plans, he'll reach out to you. You can change things, no problem. He doesn't like completely bust chops about every little nut and bolt, but at the same time, he makes sure everything is done to proper protocol and the right way. The mayor's a gentleman. He's done a great job revitalizing the village. It's just an absolute pleasure to work there. Number three, the village of Amityville. I've done quite a bit of business and looking to doing some big development in the village of Amityville. They are an absolute pleasure. The mayor is a gem, great guy. The head of the building department, very, very nice. I have literally got plans approved there in 24 hours. They look at everything, they make sure the protocol is done right, they, they, they sit down, they work through it all with you. It's just a very pleasant experience. They want development, they want houses that are crappy cleaned up, they want to help homeowners legalize things and get it done the right way. It's just a real, real pleasure to work there. Honorable mention in the best places to work, Village of Hempstead. I've had great experiences in the Village of Hempstead, and it's, it's a pretty decent sized village, a lot going on there. The building department does a very good job. Ron, who runs the building department, he's a gentleman. You can go in there, you can have conversations, you can tell me you're looking to do stuff, they'll help you out, they get you, um, they get you forms, they get you surveys, they get you foils, they get you really whatever you need so you can get the job done. Just as long as you go there and you tell them what you're looking to do and you tell them you're the owner and you wanna clean it up, they're very nice and they're very happy and eager to help. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, follow. If you haven't joined the text platform yet, the number's right there, join it. It's absolutely free. I'm gonna be putting out unique content to only my people on the text platform. If you have any questions, you can obviously reach out to me get the dialogue going. I'm happy to help everybody get into their first, second, third, or 20th project. We appreciate you and I'll see you on next week's educational vlogs.